everyone. Today I'm going to show you a really easy but really important step in Naviance, which is adding your college decisions to your Naviance account. From now on, every time you find out that you've been accepted or you've been waitlisted or gotten a denial, you're going to add it into your Naviance account. And this is important for a couple of reasons. First of all, it helps me identify which students need the most support. If I see that you've gotten a lot of acceptances, I know that you're ready to start having conversations about what your final decision is going to be. If I see that you haven't had many decisions yet at all, I know that I need to reach out to you and we need to talk about following up with some of those colleges to see if you're missing any materials. It's also important for future generations of Hiawatha students. If you remember back to the beginning of the year, I showed you those graphs in Naviance that compared your GPA to previous GPAs of students who had been accepted at that school. So this data helps inform uh, me when I help students make their lists to make sure they have a really well-rounded list with lots of schools that they're likely to be accepted to. So let's talk about how you do it. From your Naviance homepage, you're gonna click on colleges that I'm applying to, and then you're going to click the college that you got a decision for. So let's go with the University of Minnesota Twin Cities for this example. We'll hit edit. And the only thing that we have to change is this part where it says result. And you'll see that there's a lot of different options. Really the only two that we're gonna be working with are accepted or denied. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I was accepted to the University of Minnesota. You'll notice here that there's a checkbox for waitlisted. Waitlisted means that you were not initially admitted, um, but they are still considering your application, and if someone doesn't take their spot, there's a chance you might get in. For that, you would just leave it as unknown and check the box. But like I said, 99% of the time, it's gonna be very straightforward, and you're just gonna do accepted or denied. So I'm gonna say accepted, I'm gonna hit save, and then that's it, that's all I had to do. So super, super easy, but I just wanted to make this quick video so that you know how to do this. Have a good day.